Hello friends, this is Thaddeus from Going Nerdy and I don't normally do this, but I've got, I just had a huge haul come in. I, as you can tell from my side, from behind me, I am a collector. I like books, I like TV shows, I like digital Barbie dolls. And if you know my channel, you know exactly what I'm talking about today. However, I got a whole heap of Funko Pops. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, I'm going to show you what I got and I'm going to open them. And I'm a collector, guys, but I, as you can see, I like them on my shelf. I, I like to display them for me. I'm not doing this for anyone else. Got Mr. Babu Frick right there. Now I gotta say, guys, I love that because it's friggin' life size Babu Frick. It's it's awesome. But I've got let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different sets or eight different packs. Um, some of the, they're all over the place. I am so freaking stoked for this, guys. Um, I got a call today during at work, and I was like, "They're in! They're in! I'm 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 excited." So I am gonna save the biggest for last. But let's go ahead and get some of these out of the way. Um, I was over at uh, I got these all at um, hot what not hobby Do hobby lobby. Although I have gotten some in Hobby Lobby, I got these all at uh, GameStop. So first and foremost, I've got Ray. Okay, now this is uh, Ray two lightsabers, Ray uh, two chains, Ray. She's got that that little uh, spark. This is where she's officially become all the Jedi, right? Now I know that there's a lot of people that hate Ray. A lot of people that don't like Ray. I like I don't mind. I just think that. Her story could have been a lot better, um, but I mean, I do, I do love the character, and I love, I love the little, the little Fudco. Look at him; they're so cute. I, <laughs> I freaking love this. Now, um, like I, that's that's dope in my mind. I just think that's so freaking cool. I'm gonna take off IG11, put him back here, and take off Baby Yoda, make some room. I'll put these up. I'll put these up here so that you can see them a little more. But, oh, look at the client. He had, like, no time in in The Mandalorian. But here, there is our Ray, number one. Um, now, let us go for a different Jedi. But this isn't actually a Jedi. She uh, is actually no longer... A member of the Jedi. This is actually one that I didn't have. Um, it's hard to see here on the back, but you've got Mandalorian, or you've got Maul, Darth Maul officially. You've got Ahsoka, uh, uh, Gar Saxon, Bo Katan, and Wrecker. Wrecker, oh, I love Wrecker. He's my favorite. Um, so let's go ahead. The back. You just, I mean, I love these little backs, but these ones, these ones drives me crazy. There's nothing on them. Give me something. Right. Oh, hey, bonus. There were two backs, right? Um, I don't know. I like, I love this. This is, this is Ahsoka when she is hooking up with the sisters Martez. Uh, I mean, I, I say hooking up with, I mean, working with the sisters Martez. She's officially not... A Jedi there. She's a mechanic, right? And I think mechanics need they need love and support. Most of them. I think all the mechanics I've ever encountered with have been, you know, reputable. Um, boom. Let's look at this. Um, Big Papa Palps. Emperor Palpatine. Eternal Emperor. Sith Eternal Emperor. Um... As much as I liked specific aspects of episodes eight, not eight, episode nine, like I, I won't say that I liked the movie outright because there are definitely some issues with the film, like a lot. Um, there are things that I like. Sith Eternal Emperor. Now, I have a hard feeling, and I say a hard feeling. 
I absolutely believe that if Ray didn't take him out, Thrawn would have. Check out, there's more videos to come about that. But I absolutely believe that Thrawn... There's no way Thrawn's gonna let freaking Palps over here, you know, live out in the chaos. Not a chance. If you guys have ever read Thrawn Ascendancy, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But here's the thing, though. I, I do like this. Dope. Not the traditional, not the, the Sith Empire, the Sith symbol that I prefer, but I still love the symbol. I still like it. It's still awesome. Okay, now... I'm going to mix it up real quick. You ready for this? Because this, this is dope. This is the one that I'm super excited for. Okay. I fully believe that this character is going to get a redemption arc wholeheartedly. And that is Crosshair. Now, I'm not going to spoil anything from the episodes if you're not, if you're waiting for all of them to come out at once. I don't know why you would, but to each their own. Um, freaking crosshair i i love him he's he's kind of like a a d-bag like he's even when he was a good guy he's still kind of a jerk right um not not easy to get along with but like you know the the the, the bad batch loved him but i didn't necessarily care for him i thought he was a jerk but man he was a talented jerk this is freaking dope like look at that like the it's it's hard to tell because of the lighting in here but, like, the work on this, like, this is, like, you got his backpack. I'm not saying, hey, check out his butt or anything. But, like, man, like, the detail on this is just freaking phenomenal. Uh, crosshairs, he doesn't have, like, that kind of sucks. It's just red. I mean, give me something, right? Give, give me something more than just red because that blows. Um... All right, I'm I'm heading back to the to the to the Empire to the episode nine. I got Ray again, man. I like Ray. I do. I and I think that they didn't do her character justice. Now, granted, the character they didn't do justice was Finn, Finn and Poe. I mean, there's there's some storytelling aspects that they absolutely left out. Um, I, I liked episode 7. I did. I thought it was good. You get rid of Canto Bite, episode 8 was okay. Actually, if you just do what episode 8, what you should have done, which was um, make episode 8 actually 7.5, because that's really all it is anyways, and then give us an actual episode 8, that would have been dope. But I do like this. I think, again, not a whole lot of detail, but her, <laughs> her lightsaber's a little bent. Uh, for someone who's all the Jedi, she should have a straighter lightsaber. I don't know. A, a non-bent one, that's for sure. But let's go ahead and put her up here for now. Now, um, I'm going to do this. Before I get to my next one, I'm going to open one of my bigger ones uh, right here. Boba freaking Fett. Now, it's hard to see... Or it might not be easy to see, but Boba is going to be one of a bunch of these guys. And so what they do is they'll they'll click them all together, and it'll be like w the scene out of it was the Empire Strikes Back, out of the original trilogy, where all the bounty hunters are right there. Um, and Boba, he was the first. I just put on uh, a pre-order um, IG-88. Um, and I think Bosk is the one that's released next, but let's go ahead and open them up like a mirror background. I mean, come on guys, like at least make it look like the ship that they're in the capital ship, you know, give me a scene in the back, but no, no, I feel like that's just lazy, right? But here we do. We have, oh my gosh, these guys are so much, they're so big. This one might actually end up in my classroom. I'm not sure yet. Um, man, that is... Oh, oh, oh. Freaking dope, right? And you do... I mean, you have the background here, but how cool would it be if it was, like, more of a picture that went with it? That would just be awesome, right? I'm going to put, put Boba right there. Now, 
last of the small ones that I've got here. And you know him. You love him. Hunter. I freaking love Hunter. He's he's such a cool guy and like I, I love his, his character. I love how they're developing him in the Bad Batch series. I think it's I think it's awesome. He is kind of taking he he's he's the father of the squad. I mean the leader of the squad, but now he's taking the role of father, which I I like. I mean as as a dad, I think it's pretty cool. You know, um, it's something I get to do with my kids. You know, I watch the the episodes with them, and my daughters are like, "Oh, Omega, she's awesome!" But really, I'm watching Hunter, and I'm seeing him, you know, be a dad. You know, essentially, and it's like, yeah, I would protect my kids like that with knives and fighting stuff. Um, this one doesn't have as much detail, I think, as Crosshair. Um, you still got that same like pack on the back. It's really, it's it's small, but it's freaking awesome. Okay, now, the coup de gras. All right, the the one that I've been saving. You guys ready for this? When when I first heard that this batch was coming out, the guy at the shop was like, so do you want to get one? And I was like, one? Do I want to get one? Yes. And by one, I mean three. Star Wars. Funko Collector Pops. So, I mean, it's... The the package is a little ripped, right? But it's like you feel... The, can you hear that? Now, I'm I'm stoked. I haven't ever done this. Like, like legit. I mean, I, I bought all these guys, right? And, and they're fun. I enjoy them. Like, like I said, I'm a collector. It's what I do. Um... I've never bought a like a legit collector's box. And this is supposed to have like a bunch of really cool stuff in it. Okay, so I'm I'm pretty stoked. Now I have this one's for me and I've got two in the back, right? I'm I, I don't know if I'm going to gift them or if I'm going to hold on to them, but oh. Ooh. Ah. Uh, Basti Shen. Oh my gosh. Um, now I, I love, I love Bastila and I love her storyline. I always played KOTOR as, um, oh, I always played him as the good guy. I couldn't, I couldn't go bad. I think I went bad once and I felt guilty about it. Um, but here you see a few other ones. So these were the original two that came out for KOTOR. You have, um, Malik, where is he? Yeah, Malik's right there, and then Revan's right there. You can still get Malik for at like a decent price, decent price as a collector. It's like twenty bucks or thirty bucks, like depending on on how you get. Freaking Revan, that Revan is like eighty or ninety bucks. So unless my wife is watching this, which hopefully she's not, otherwise I'm gonna get yelled at. Um, there's not a chance in the seven moons of Endor that I'm ever going to get that Malak or that Revan. Maybe the Malak for sure. Well, for sure the Malak. I'll eventually break down and buy the Malak. But man, like I am not getting that Revan ever, probably. But let's let's open it up. Oh, I just, and again, guys, I like love taking them out of the box. It's like, it's emotional. That's what it is. It's emotional. It's not emotional. But all right, let's see. It does have a backing. Looks kind of like a Star Forge, which, I mean, kind of dope, but, oh, man. Now, I, I just love this. Like, I love KOTOR. It was such a fun game, and I'm absolutely waiting for number three. You know, oh, man, it's just, she's, she's so dope, man. The Ebon Hawk, I just, I freaking loved it. T3? T3 was one of my favorites. Now let's let's make some room. Let's let's take one of these rays down. Put them back over there. Boom. All right. Before I even show you that. Before before I show you that. Look at this. Freaking keychain. Got a keychain. Dope. I'm going to put that on my keys. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, freaking ain't no way. I don't know what this is, but I feel like there was something missing. Maybe that's, oh, the keychain must have fallen out. Boom. I, that's going to go on like my backpack or something. That is dope. Like a cool little patch. I don't, yeah. Um, okay. And then a lanyard. This, this is now going to be, um, my work lanyard. It's going to happen. So, oh my goodness. Oh, that is, that is freaking tight. So on one side, you've got the, the Republic, the old Republic. On one side, you've got the Sith. Um, you've got this cool little Funko patch. Definitely going to stick my work badge in that. And then you've got Funko, Sith, or you've got Sith Republic. Oh, this is awesome. Um, and then finally, last but not least, Revan. Now, this is Jedi Knight Revan. This is Revan redeemed. Um, no, this is this is straight up Jedi Knight Revan. No, no redemption here. Because um, he's just got the blue saber. He doesn't have blue and red. Um, or blue. Pink. Pur oh my gosh, I can't speak tonight. Purple and, and red. Um, so, I'm sure that they'll come out with a Revan redeemed. Oh. This is dope, guys. This is, this is so freaking cool. Like, it's it's hard to see, but like you've got the, the actual lines on his on his hood that like, oh, this is just so freaking cool. Anyways, guys, so this is my last. Um, you kind of see the close ups. It's hard to see, close ups on the gloves. If I can get my head out of the way, I can't. I can't negotiate stuff. I oh, man. I freaking love it. Anyways, guys, um, I don't know. Do you collect Funkos? Are you a collector? If you are, hit me up in the section below. Uh, I've got a bunch of these, as you can see. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep Basti, and I'm gonna keep Revan right down here. Whoop! Basti fell over. Um, right down here, so I can see him every day. I, I'm excited, guys. Well, let me know if you guys are collectors. Uh, are you guys getting these? Do you get them? Where do you get them? Do you order them online? In the section below, you can actually check out the the ones on Amazon. Uh, anytime you purchase something from Amazon, you do give me a little bit of a kickback if you follow the link to Amazon from here. Uh, but these are all the ones that are on Amazon. You can either get them directly from the company or from all of its other subsidiaries who sell them this has been thaddeus from going nerdy thank you for checking out my fun codes today like subscribe share for star wars news reviews rumors and as always star wars galaxy of heroes content like subscribe share hit the little bell button to be notified anytime i go live and as always my friends smile stay nerdy